But we want to switch the conversation a little bit. We are going to talk a little bit about the modernization of the health information system at the NWRHA. My guest this morning, Dr. Rajiv Kisun, House Officer, National Radiotherapy Center at the NWRHA. And we also have Magda Bax, who is the General Manager, Health Policy Research and Planning at the NWRHA. Good morning. How morning. are you all? Thank you so good much morning. for having Magda, us. it's great seeing you again. Yes. It's and it's good to, to see that we are looking to modernize of the information course, system. Of course, transforming healthcare is... You know, NWRHA is always a pioneer in the health for the nation. And today we are so pleased to announce the initiatives of the modernization of the health information system in the Northwest Regional Health Authority. So what exactly does this entail? So this entails four core areas. One would be the digitalization of the pharmacy mm -hmm. in the St. James Medical Complex. The other one would be the comprehensive electronic health record in the National Radiotherapy Center, and Dr. Kassoon is going to go right into that as well. And then the interconnection of that electronic health record with the Woodbrook Oncology Outpatient Center. And those two initiatives and platforms would have resulted in the pathway for a patient-centric application, NWRHA, Be Well TT. Right. So, so a lot to look forward to there. So, Dr. Kisun, tell me about the implementation of the Comprehensive Electronic Health Record in the National Radiotherapy Center. Uh, speaking for myself and a lot of the other physicians and the healthcare staff, it's really been a dream come true for us to see in Trinidad and Tobago in the public healthcare system, a fully electronic record system. Um, There's some key takeaways that I think benefit the patients and you know, not having to go through paper files, your files being lost or misplaced, having all your information easily accessible and more accessible in a manner that physicians, nurses, and other members of staff are able to help expedite your care in the public. I mean, all of these things are really great. The, I think the best aspects for patients and also for us as physicians, it makes our work a little less cumbersome. And when we have less to do on the side of documentation and so forth, we are able to spend more time actually listening to our patients and really hearing what our patients have to say. And that's what Magda was alluding to when she said, a patient-centric approach. That's really what we want, is to spend more time with our patients, really be able to hear them and have a system that allows us the maximum time to do that. But, but here is a concern, and recently there were two stories. One, there was a, a hacking of some sort in the NWRHA, and then there was a hacking yesterday confirmed by the Minister of National Security of um, its website, and if I'm not mistaken, the immigration website. How can we protect um, this information when we put it on a system like this? Now, security is always the forefront of any patient information, and that would always remain top priority for the NWRHA. So again, in doing an initiative for patient care, we ensure the confidentiality and safety of all patient information. As you know, you have your banking information on your mm -hmm. phone. I'm sure people use ATM cards here, as well as online banking. We take confidentiality of that information to be a high priority for the authority. And so this would be a very secure system and we would have security updates routinely as well as different mechanisms in place to ensure patient confidentiality. Is there a model that we're following? In a terms set of model? a set model, yeah. well, we're working with a partner mm -hmm. who is a Newfields Technologies, who is a global provider that whose whole sole purpose is to transform and revolutionize healthcare. And so in bringing this process to Trinidad and the NWRJ, what we have now is moving from that paper system. Of course, there's going to be some change, and there's always you know, different complexities would change, but this is really for the patient to improve patient care, enhance data analytics. And this is what Dr. Kassoon was talking about. When you have the right information for the right healthcare professional at the right time, that is critical for the clinical care team for our patients, especially our oncology patients. Yeah. But that also means that uh, doctors and, and those at the institutions would have to be properly trained to use this. So things. you'd be surprised. Um, I think most of us, especially the younger generation of physicians, we're all fairly tech savvy. Most people can use a smartphone and do basics on a computer. The system that New Feel has built for us has actually been customized for our clinic flow. Mm -hmm. And they've really taken a ground up approach. They came, they spent time, they looked at how patients come into the system, what different processes happen. And then we had a system that was tailored to our needs. So we've actually spent less time training physicians, training nurses, um, because the system was fairly intuitive. And that really makes life easier when you have to transition 
But of course, transitions happen with a little bit of teething issues and you can't get past that. There is going to be a little bit of um, the staff getting accustomed to the new system. But in all honesty, it's been a fairly smooth transition. And I think the patients have been very excited when they see this. They say, mm -hmm. you know, we feel like we're taking a step forward. Yeah. And, and then there is this Go Live platform. What, what is the Go Live platform? So the Go Live of Pharmacy occurred in May, May 1st, so Pharmacy completely digital. Now we've had the Go Live in the NRC. Now we've moved away from paper in the NRC for our patients on July 12th. And on Wednesday, we launched our application, which would have been the NWRHA Well TT mobile yes. app. So now NRC patients, and you know, we wanted to pull it up here <laughs> for everyone to have, and I hope you download it today. What NRC patients can now access would be their prescription notifications. So now you can Ooh. find out when your prescription from Dr. Kasun, that Dr. Kasun prescribed for you, when is it ready? When can I go to the pharmacy and collect it? And more than that, the clinic appointment card that you normally have paper, sometimes people lose it, they can't find it, mm. now also on the app. But more than just the NRC patients, everyone can download this. And we really want to encourage people to download the app because it's going to have some cross-cutting information to especially address NCDs. And you know, NCDs is a growing global issue, and especially in Trinidad, we have a high incidence and prevalence of NCDs. Really good information on the app, as well as healthy recipes. Mm -hmm. Rishi, if you want to oh, try some of these healthy and recipes. And I just ran the gym, so <laughs> listen. And the blog. Uh, Dr. Rajiv Kisun, Magda Baksh, thank you both for coming on. I, I would like to, to let you know that you feel free to come back so we can go through the app so that people can actually get a first hand understanding great. of yes. what it is. But for now, we have to take a break and we'll be right back. Sure. All right, thank, thank you. you.